next we have here is binomial distribution now in this binomial distribution uh, what happens is the total number of trials is fixed okay and uh, you can see each e uh, each trial is binary so it can be either you know success or you can say failure okay and the uh, you know probability of success is the same for all the time so what is the use basically okay so the binomial distribution is used when when there is you know uh, exactly two mutually exclusive outcome for a trial okay and uh, these outcome are you know apparently labeled success and failure so a probability distribution is a probability distribution uh, uh, sorry is a you know it shows that probability p of n trials whereas each trial has two possible outcome that is uh, either true false yes no like that now the value n can be you know uh, can be any integer value okay positive integer that includes the number one uh, which piece you can you know do the probability distribution for a single trial or a fixed number of trials so now what will be the real case okay real case scenario what it will be so in real life binomial distribution can be observed you know frequently for instance if a new drug is developed to treat a disease uh, it will either be successful in curing uh, the disease or it will be unsuccessful in doing so so you either you know either win the lottery or you know you won't okay so that is what basically uh, for uh, those purposes we use binomial distribution so basically it comes under probability without experiment you know domain where uh, when we have you know uh, exactly two mutually uh, exclusive outcome for a given trial okay so so this is how basically the fr formula is represented now let me show you how to break this formula so uh, n by you know n by r is also you can uh, you can represent it by you know n factorial so let me change uh, yeah so n factorial so i am telling about the n n to r part okay so this will be after this step it will be replaced like this so n factorial then n minus x okay n minus x factorial and then x factor now i will be telling you uh, i mean after breaking it how to exactly digest this formula okay and then uh, rest of the formula okay p to the power r and then q n minus r okay so basically what here n saying is n is like a this ends the count of you know number of ways uh, even can occur okay and uh, this particular n factorial telling us this start the count of number of way event can occur okay and uh, then we have uh, p uh, then p to the power r so basically r telling us uh, this is a probability of success for x number of trials or you can say r number of trials okay and uh, don't get confused here I have used R uh, here it is uh, X so it's just the same thing now now the now this part Q n minus R so basically this is the probability of failure for the X trials okay so we have to you know break this formula in this way and you will see that uh, whatever the number of you know uh, given so suppose uh, the number of successes is given 15 okay and number of trial we have is 18 now the probability of success is 0 0.85 now we will be filling this value inside this formula okay this formula so I'm removing all of them yeah so after putting everything in this formula so you can see that uh, the uh, number of trial has been uh, has been you know induced in that formula that is 18 factorial by 18 minus 15 factorial and then uh, this is to remove the duplication that 15 uh, factorial that we have given and this particular these two value is nothing just a probability of you know success and the probability of failure okay and then after we evaluate this formula we will get these values okay and then 
this is what the percentage of uh, probability that we are getting for you know p of 15 okay and this is how basically we execute binomial distribution uh, in mathematical way okay so we will be seeing this example in python way also to see the example so basically i created one notebook and here i will be importing all the required library that is numpy from numpy from numpy i will be importing random and then matplotlib and seaborn so we will be using you know dist plot to uh, see the binomial distribution so for that let's import the okay let's see see kernel we'll run that again sns dot distribution so dist plot is stand for distribution plot and then random dot so binomial is a method that we are calling here and then like uh, like we seen we have to give three parameters here and is the number of trials i want to do that is 10 and then uh, p is the probability of so uh, uh, what is the probability of each of the distribution so let's say i am flipping a coin so what what will be the uh, what will be the probability it will be 0 0.5 for head 0 0.5 for tail now i also want to give what is the size okay size i want to give as 10 now we have to give another parameters like histogram equal to true and then kd equal to false equal to false okay now what we have to do plt dot show okay so okay we just have to run you know multiple time to see the distribution so every time you run a distribution it will def uh, uh, i mean show you differently okay so uh, so so let's increase the uh, size of output so i want to see the output for 100 now you will see distribution different way let's increase the size to 1000 you will see in more you know uh, uniformly uh, distributed way so this way you will be tr uh, you know checking how binomial distribution basically does all this thing and then you can visualize so this is how uh, and this is how easy is, is to do it in python okay so we will be uh, in the next tutorial we will be seeing a uh, cdf and pdf function which comes inside binomial distribution and okay let's see that okay bye